I think that we can go viral because we're the only people that turn a show on and then walk into it. Yep. <laughs> uh, what's going on, guys? This is the fourth or fifth show of Puck Schmucks, and today we're doing the number 20 to 11 in the NHL top 50 players right now, according to us. We kind of base it on a list of 250 fantasy guys, but if you look at their list and you look at our list, a lot of guys did drop from where they were, like Nicholas Backstrom, stuff like that. Um, you know, we're going to talk about that, but before we get into it, just uh, the usual spiel in every show. Uh, we are sponsored by Fantasy Bros, and they were nice enough to get nice enough to give us a fantasy football draft kit that is pretty much a big board. It goes by rounds and team and uh, each player. You can go from anywhere from you know four to twelve, and the best part about it is that they give you stickers, up to date stickers. Besides Des Bryant, because I think he's still going to be a Cleveland Brown. I said I that last time, um, but. We're going to give you a link in the description. You're going to get the board as well as the uh, stickers. It's fun. I think it's fun. And we're going to try to do a live one where we can actually show the board and have fun yeah. with it. But we're going to have their uh, their link in there. You press shop now and then put in BB Sports 15 for 15% off the actual fantasy draft kit. Other than that, uh, we would really appreciate it if you liked the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel as well as comment below with your thoughts on it. There's going to be some guys that you think are top 10, but they're not our, in our top 10. Uh, but let us know where you think they should be. Uh, also follow us on Instagram. We are at Bigger and Bradder Sports, one word. We are also on Twitter. You can throw us a follow there. I am at Big Tuna BBS. Bradder is at Defense 12. Brad and Corey is at Scooney with two E's. Two E's. All right, so number 20 to 11. We're getting down to the nitty-gritty here, and... Looking, honestly, looking at the last, the 20 players, mm -hmm. it's like no one was there that I didn't think deserved to be there. Uh, no, I think everyone deserved. To I, be I think so too, to except for, no, I'm not going to be that mean. Because I was going to say Vasilevsky. Yeah, I still got him on there. No, no, I do. He's number, he's my number 20. I am at 17. So yeah, so I mean, um, you know, we're doing oh, yeah. 20 to 11 here. My number 20 is Andre Vasilevsky. He's a goalie. Uh, you know, his 2018 stats were not bad. He had, they were, he had a really good year. 44 wins, so uh, 17, two, losses. 17 losses, 2.62 goals against average, save percentage. Um, the only thing that kind of made me chuckle was that the two goalies that I have left is Vasilevsky and then Hellebuck. Yeah. And both of these guys have... Vasilevsky has 85 career wins, and Hellebuck has 83 career, career wins. And they're in the top 20 of the NHL players right now. Okay, so Vasilevsky, I think, is one of those players or goalies that he looks a lot better with the team around him. Agreed. He was also in the Vezina Trophy finalists. Uh, he did not win it. Pecorine won it, but once again, great roster around Pecorine. And honestly, a great roster around Connor Hellebuck, now that you look at it, because there's a lot of Jets there. There are two or three Jets that are in the top 20. But I just think Vasilevsky, he's all right, but I just, I, I can't knock him off the list. Yeah. So I, I figured I'd put him there because, honestly, I didn't look at the top 20 because I didn't want to cheat. But when I saw his name, I was like, ooh. Yeah. You know, but, uh, yeah, Vasilevsky is my number 20. Uh, my number 20, I got Brent Burns. I know you had him a little higher up. Uh, to me, he's one of my favorite defensemen of the game. Uh, 12 goals, 55 assists, 67 points. Oh, shit, game. I had him on last week. Yeah, you had him Oh, last okay, week, so yeah, you okay. Had him, uh, you I was mid, looking, I was like, You had him mid-20, so. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, like I said, I think he's the best defenseman of the game right now. One of the best defensemen. Offensive. Offensive. Defensive. Defensive. Yes. That's the problem. Yeah. Is that it, two different defensemen, difference. and usually the one that wins the defenseman of the year is the offensive defenseman. Right. But... Like, this year was Victor Hedman. He is also very good on defense, too. Um, yeah, there's nothing wrong with Brent Burns. I love his beard. Agreed. Uh, best beard. Best beard. Yeah, same team, too. And those teeth. There's something about San Jose's beard. I just, you know, and it's funny because it's, it just makes me laugh when these guys get their teeth fixed and all that. Like, wait till the season. Wait till wait the till year, your career year is over. You know, and that's what Brent Burns is pretty much doing. I don't blame him one bit. My number 19 is Blake Wheeler, the center and captain of the Jets. 
Uh, very good player. 91 points this year. 23 goals, 68 assists. Holy crap. I didn't realize he had that many points. But I was also surprised to see him in the top 20. But then again, where else would you put him? Yeah. He would be in the 20s if I, you know, but he would at least be in the 20s. I agree. You know, but. Uh, a little higher up too. Well, that's the thing too is that I could put him at 11 I'd if have, I wanted yeah, I'd to. Yeah, I got him at 15. I mean, he had 23 goals, 68, 68 assists, assists, 91 points on the year. He has six 20 plus goal seasons and six 35 plus assist seasons. I like that better than goals. Yeah. Uh, and you know what? Another guy who, if you ask them, you know, this guy got 95 points and he plays for the Winnipeg Jets. First to guess would be Patrick Laine. Second guess would be Shifley. And, yeah. I mean, I don't even think they would guess break Wheeler third. You know, but whatever. Uh, yeah, so yeah. Uh, not bad. 91 points. Very surprising. Yeah, I was saying my 19, I got Taylor Hall. What? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. He's not even in my. He's he's in the tens. Yeah. I say I got him a little Actually, higher. Actually, let me check. I uh I got him at nineteen. He had a good year. Thirty nine points. I mean, great year. Thirty nine points. Fifty four assists. Ninety three points on the year. MVP. MVP. He had a great season. Um, I he just he doesn't have a team around him to win right now. Yeah. He doesn't. So that's just what puts him a little bit lower on the scale for me. Granted, he's a great player. He's gonna have a great career. Um, the best thing for him was to get a, yeah, out of absolutely. Edmonton. Yeah. So I think I think he's got a great uh, opportunity with the Devils. I mean, obviously, uh, that's where everyone else had him in yeah. the. I think he was like twenty. Um, yeah, I think that like it was twenty one. Yeah, and it, to me, it's just like if you're the MVP of the league, I don't think he's going to be in my top five, but I, I I would have him between five and ten, only because it's the, the thing that that I love about Taylor Hall is that he has a fucking chip on his shoulder yeah. because everyone, they didn't want him in Edmonton. And then he goes and win an, wins an MVP. That's that's just a great story. And I just, I'm a huge fan of his. That, yeah. That's the whole thing. Yeah. I'm just a huge fan of his. And it's my list, so I can do what the fuck I want. Right. Um, my number 18 is Claude Giroux. I was... See, I got him a lot lower. So, well, no, 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 that's fine. The only thing is, once again, the team around him. Yeah. He's the only, you know what I mean? He's the only guy. But then again, Voracek, you know, but I didn't know he had 102 points this 68 year. 68 assists. 68 assists, 34 goals. In his career, he has five 25-plus goal seasons and six 40-plus assist seasons. Yeah. The reason, obviously, I don't like him is because I'm a Penguins fan, but I, I appreciate the skills. And... Claude, but this is the thing, is Claude Drew is one of those guys that you don't ever hear much about, and now, I probably Philly fans would, would fall over in their seats if, if this ever happened, yeah. but I could see if Philly was bad. Yeah. I could see them trading him to somebody. You know what I mean? If they can get something back as a prospect, because he's not on the back end of his career, but he would get a lot back, you know what I mean, for him, and, you know... And the last two players I've had on this list are both captains. There's a reason why they're in the top 20. You know, they don't just have the C for no reason. But, yeah, Claude drew 102 points. Was he second uh, to McDavid? So. And it's so funny because they had him low, that low. You know what I mean? Obviously, McDavid's number one. I don't know if he's... Well, that, you know what I'm saying on their yeah. list, yeah. Who's uh, your 18? My 18, I had Andre Vasilevsky. Uh, oh, very yeah. You know, you had him before. Like we said, 44 wins, 17 losses, 3 overtime. Uh, 2.62. Yeah, not bad. 920 goal, or with a 920 save percentage. I mean, that's a good season. I think he's got to do it a lot. You know, he's got to be able to do it more than once. Um, oh, I think he's going to be good again I next so year. Yeah. I think, uh, I mean, he's got a great team around it's him. It's his team. So he's got, you know, only, he can only go high. Well, they, and, and like I've told people about Vasilevsky, I mean, they, it's his team now. He has the farm because... The Lightning traded away Ben Bishop, who was their starter, so they obviously have a very, they like this guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, Ben Bishop is no slouch at goaltending, so um, very good player, and also, you know, it's just, I'm just, when I watch this game, it frustrates me, because he can be great. Yeah. But he lets in one of the shittiest goals. I agree. You know, because he did the same thing in the World Cup of Hockey. I mean, Russia... Russia's never competitive when it's the NHL players. I mean, obviously they won the gold medal this year in hockey, but still, Vasilevsky just landed some soft shit, 
you know, and it's just, that's why I don't like them, because in my opinion, some of these goalies that are coming into the league that are as tall as they are, yeah. it's just not good. They take up a lot of space, but rebounds are tough, you know, they can't really scramble around. Um, number 17 for me is Patrick Kane, uh, for the Blackhawks, if you didn't know. Uh, 76 points this season. Not as not as good of a season as he usually no. is, and I think that's why he's this high for me. Also, didn't have a team around him this year. Yeah, that team was shit. Chicago Blackhawks general managers, you guys should be fucking fired yes. for what you did. You traded away Artemi Panarin for Brandon Sad. Like that makes me sad. Really sad. It's that's. I'm not gonna get into it. I mean, Mitchell uh, Labelle is a huge Chicago fan. Yeah. I bet she was sick. You know, to get to get swept by Nashville last year and then to not make the playoffs at all. Yeah. As a one seed, they were like, they went from a one seed to not even being in the playoffs. That's a, it's incredible. Chicago not being in the playoffs, it has to be close to 10 years since, yeah. Yeah, you know, because they won it was three the same cups. Thing with, like the Red Wings not making it. it was yeah. Like the first time in, like, 16, and then they haven't made years. it forever now. Yeah. Um, the other thing to say about Kane 25 plus goals in eight seasons. 40 plus assists in nine seasons. Yes. It's not bad. No, no, it's not. Uh, he got 76 points on the year. Yep, 76 years, points, assists. yeah. I got him at 16, so I got him one slot lower than him. Uh, oh, yeah. well, yeah, it's, yeah, I mean, it was tough. I yeah. could have put him at 20. Exactly. You know, just because he, Patrick Kane, I think it was two years ago, he was like the leader in the league in points forever, yep. and he just died. You know, he was like up, he was up on Crosby and McDavid by like 30 points, and then they caught him. It was like I was. I thought he was gonna have a two hundred goals, two hundred point season, which I would love to see. Yeah. It's tough for the guys now to get a hundred points a season, which is just incredible to think about. That, like, it, it makes me wonder how good. You know the player like Ovechkin, Crosby, Malkin, uh, McDavid would have been back in the old days. Oh yeah. They probably just scored three hundred points. Same skill set, but yeah. different kind of. Oh, you yeah. know, Mary Lemieux and. Um, you know, Wayne Gretzky are what I they mean, are. To me, Alex Ovechkin's a great shooter of all time. No, I agree with that one. I do. I agree with that one because he, and that's the thing I'm wondering, is that his game probably was the same only because you really couldn't shoot up for Titty on the yeah. goalies now. Yeah. Back then, they, they stood off, you know, and that, because when I played goalie, that was the one thing that I always said, like, you can't go here on me. You can go here or here, but you can't go here. Yeah. You know, but, uh, um, your uh, 17 my was... 17, I got Evgeny Kuznetsov, uh, my boy from the Oh, you switched it? Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Um, oh, I had him tied at 21. Okay. Yeah, no, I think... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, did, you did at 21. Him and Baxter, um, right? No, you had somebody else with Baxter. Oh, fucking good. But, yeah, I got Kuznetsov at 18. Oh, Kuznetsov at uh, 22. Young guy, 27 goals, 56 assists, 87 points in the year. 27. No, 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 you have Kuznetsov at oh, 17. 17. Yes, at 17. 17. Uh, 27 goals, 56 assists, 83 points. Very underrated player. Very underrated. Young guy. He's going to be there for a couple more years. Um, you know. Yeah, I think he's got, a, yeah. he's got a lot more left on his contract. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's only on year, like, two of his contract. Yeah. I didn't realize he got such a big boost. Yeah. But two or three years ago, I wasn't hockey, watching hockey as much as I do now. Um, it, it makes me laugh though. Kuznetsov is one of the funniest celebrations. Yeah. In the world. That fu I don't know what he's doing though. I think it's because he looks like a bird. Yeah. You know, I think people make fun of him for that, so he does it. Um, well, yeah. it's also the coos, coos. Oh, is that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, interesting. I've always wondered that because he does that. It's like what? See, because I thought because the Capitals are the bird. Yeah. You know what I'm saying to me? I don't. Know. No, but it's just funny. Very underrated player. Yep. Him and Nicholas Backstrom do not get enough publicity for what they do. Uh, my number 16 is Connor Hellebuck, goaltender for the Jets. 44, goal, 44 wins this year, 2.36 goals against average, and a 9.24 save percentage. All better, except for the wins, than Vasilevsky. In his career, he has a career 83 wins, 2.55 goals against average, and 9.17 save percentage not great numbers no. but i was always taught as a goalie that if you're over 90 that's where you're supposed to be yeah if you're under 90 it's like no 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 you know what i'm saying that it's always been my but i think with the nhl i think it's like when i think it's like 9 10 yeah. and up yep. you know what i mean you're not you're not great if you're under 9 10. Agreed. um you know the 44 wins it's just another guy that's gonna have a bright future ahead of him, and I believe he got an extension this yeah, offseason. Yeah, good for him. 
Uh, my 16, I got Patrick Kane. We just talked about him yep. before. 27 goals, 49 assists. Like you said, he's had, what, nine straight seasons of 40-plus goals. Yeah. Um, I mean, he's always been the guy. 25-plus goals. 25-plus 25, er, 25 goals. Nine, no, nine seasons of 40-plus 40, 40 assists. Assist. Yep. Yes, sir. Um, but, yeah, I mean, he's always been the go-to guy there. Uh, I think he'll probably you know, play the rest of his career there, too. See, that scares me that he might not. It's only because... Um, and I don't know what it is, and I'm sure it's nothing, but he's been on the team for nine to ten seasons. Yes. He's never been named an assistant captain or a captain. Um, it just seems like if it comes down to it, like if you get down to it, who are you going to keep? Kane or Taves, because they make the same amount of yeah. money. They're going to say Taves, because Taves brings that leadership. And it's funny, too, because I don't think we had... Jonathan Taves even close to this list no. in the top 50. No. He would be I, he would be in between 50 and 100, don't you think? Yeah. But it, honestly, if you put him up to some of these guys, like is he better than Jamie Benn? No. Is he better than, uh, I'm trying to think of some other guys. Though. Is he better than Phil Kessel? No. Is he better than Artemi Panera? No. Is he better than Mark Shifley? No. It's just, it's he's so marketable. That you know everything about him, but then you look at his stats and like, well, he doesn't do much, but it's his leadership that, you know, he's been the captain for three um, Stanley Cup championships. So, um, oh, who's your 16? Oh, you're good. Yeah, you're 15. Oh, okay. My number 15 is Jamie Benn, uh, another captain. Yes. Uh, for the Stars, this season he had 36 goals and 43 assists for 79 points. Not bad. Um, he has had eight 20 plus goal seasons and 30. No, no, seven. Yeah, 37 goals. <laughs> and he's had seven to 30 plus assist seasons. I was a little surprised by him being this high. Yeah. Only, in a, and you say, well, you have him at 15. Yeah, because I, I think he's better than Kane. And I, but I just think that he's not. I just, you know, but. His teammates higher than he is because when I think of the when I think of the stars, I think of Tyler Sagan. I don't think of uh, Jamie Benn, but from the stats I looked at, he's solid every year. And uh, I just hope that team can get to the playoffs once. They actually put up basically identical stats. Yeah, they did. But I'm just saying it's it's just Sagan is very. I don't know how to explain it, but there's just something different about Sagan. Yeah. I will always remember that poster that those girls had at the Boston Garden. You ever seen that thing? Yes, yeah. Yeah, where Tyler, we sucked your dick in high school. <laughs> the worst part is they're probably right. They, yeah, they you know what work. I'm saying? Because they did like a barstool thing for him and they, they showed his house, like a Cribs thing. The dude's sleeved up both sides. And you didn't used to see that with hockey players. No. And now it's, it's it, but that's just the world now. Everybody knows tattoos. Yeah, no, but that's true. Jamie Benn, another guy that's a great captain. Um, I just wish I could see that, that team in the playoffs. Uh, it just seems like they can't make it to the playoffs recently, and I hope they can turn it around a yeah, little bit. Right, I'm with you. Um, let's see, my 15, I had Blake Wheeler. Uh, okay. We yeah. just talked about it before. 23 goals, 68 assists. That's I mean, a 68 lot of assists, assists is a lot of assists. Yeah, yeah. when you pass the line in, shifley. Yeah. Yep, 91 points is most points he's ever put up in his in his career. Uh, 68 is obviously the most he's put up in terms of assists. Yep. Uh, he's had six 40 plus assist seasons. Yep. He's had five straight. 20 plus goal seasons and it's actually he's very consistent he went 28 26 26 26 yeah. 23 so he's very consistent with goals he's always going to be you know 70 75 points and that's yeah. really all you need um from you know, that especially from your captain yeah except if you got guys around him like he does that's all you need yeah i mean it's just uh, blake wheeler is one of those guys that isn't flashy but he's always going to be in the top 20 in points yeah. and he doesn't get much praise for it but then again, he probably doesn't care. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, my number 14 is a guy that could be number 6 if he continues the way he's going. It's David Posternock. He's the right wing for the Bruins. Uh, this season he had 35 goals, 45 assists for 80 points. In his career, it's only been four years. He's had two 30-plus goal seasons and two 35-plus assist seasons. The thing with David Posternock is... In the playoffs, he started off hot. But once he got to the second round, he just fucking fizzled. And it was weird because, like, did they go to a game seven with the Lightning? I don't think so. No. I don't think so, but he, like, disappeared. 
and I thought Boston was playing the best hockey out of all of them in the yeah. first round, and he was a big reason, part of it. But then it was just done. It was just, and it's, and you know what? The problem is, is that Pasternak has a lot of players that have really big names ahead of him, but. He has the he has a chance to be the best player on the Bruins if he continues this stats. You know, you're never going to be better than Patrice Bergeron, especially because he's a he's a the best two way forward maybe in the league. But he could be David Pasternak could be the best scorer on the Bruins. Um, but he's just got to continue doing it. Though he's been in the league for four years, but he's got a chance to do something. You know, to yeah. do something. Uh, my number fourteen, I have his teammate. Rand Marchand, the man we all love to hate. Uh, he's such a dick. Um, but a lot of people don't realize this. He's only 5'8". Yeah, he's a little fucker. Like he's yeah. tiny. No, you can tell he is. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, he had Especially a when season. Char goes and talks yeah. to him. It's yeah. like his dick in his yeah, mouth. Yeah, really. I mean, he had a great season. 85 points, 34 goals, 50 assists. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's really all you can ask for from him. He's actually finally starting to pick it up. His years before that weren't that great. Uh, you know, he's done decent his last two seasons. He's had 85 points the last two, both both of them. Um, but before that, he was 60, 40, 50, 30, 50, 40 points. You know, he wasn't putting up the flashy numbers that people expect and, and people think that he does. I mean, he puts up decent numbers. I don't understand why people have him ranked in the top 10 because to me, he's not that great. I mean, he's good, but he's not great. I just, for me, it's, it's, we... We needed to have a guide, and by the way, number my number thirteen is Brad Marchand, so we can talk a little bit more about him. The one thing about Brad Marchand is that from the way he acts, is you would think he scores two goals a year. You know what I mean? Because he's a fucking pest, and he's just someone that you just want to kick the shit out of. I mean, honestly, he's getting to the point now where I think the Bruins are starting to get upset with him, mm -hmm. especially after the licking. Yeah. Like, that's just... That's just so absurd. And, and you know what, guys? And I get it. you gotta, you got to have guys out there to get the stars agitated. But if you watch uh, on YouTube or anything, they have a bunch of Brad Marchand shit. But watch the ones where players intentionally hurt Brad Marchand. They are literally trying to hurt him. Because he's been hit. He's been legitimately full force right in the nuts. Yeah. Like, three or four times. And the refs are like, oh, you know, two minutes for blah, 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 spearing. But people are trying to hurt him, and he's got to watch himself there. We used that list as a guide, and I think it didn't hurt us. No. But if you told me that I had to pick between David Pasternak, Brad Marchand, and Patrice Bergeron, it's Patrice Bergeron. And he's, I think he was in my 20s. And I just... Brad Marchand, he had a great season this year in the World Cup of Hockey. He was on the first line, scored the game-winning goal, blah, blah, blah. But he licks people. Yeah. Like, that's the problem, is there's a big butt after him. And you know it's bad when your captain, Sedano Chara, has to come up to you and say, no crazy stuff today. Yeah. He's like, no, no, no. Like, even Chara's fucking sick of it. Chara doesn't, I don't think, really gives a shit about anything. So, yeah, very... Uh, Skilled player, but his bullshit has... It's just like Sean Avery. Sean Avery was a good player. Yeah. But he was such a dick, and he worried more about the antics, and people were always going after him, that he just, his career just fell apart. So, to me, uh, Brad Marchand, if he, if he would just fucking cut his shit, he would be a lot better. Yep, off. I agree with you. Uh, my 13, I'd Claude Giroux. Uh, you oh, had him a little okay, bit yeah. lower. I mean, um, that's... It's, 102 points. I that's mean, a lot of points. How do you not, you know, yeah. like 102 points, 34 yeah. goals, 68 assists. Uh, he's had, let's see, seven years of 45-plus goals, or 45-plus assists. Yeah. He would have had eight, um, eight in a row, actually, except the one year he only played 45 games. He had 35 assists in those 45 games, but he only played 45 games. Uh, that was 2012. Uh, he had 13 goals, 35. So he had four, actually 48 games, 48 points that year. Um, so no, 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 that was the strike season. Yes. Yeah. That was the halfway. See, sometimes I yep. think people got hurt, yeah. too. Yeah. And then it's always, you know. Yeah, right, and then you remember, like, oh, yeah. But, yeah, so exactly. He had 35 assists in 48 games. He would have easily hit 40, which would have given him eight straight seasons of 40-plus assists. Yeah, so, I mean. He's always been consistent. He's never really had a great team around him. This mm -hmm. year, they're finally, you know, showing a little bit. We'll see if they can do the same thing next year. Uh, but, it's, yeah. And the problem with the Flyers is that they do have a pretty good roster. They do. But the problem is they've got to deal with the Capitals, the Penguins, 
the Devils and the Rangers. You know, it's just there's a lot of teams that are on roster, on paper, better than the Flyers. And one of the biggest problems with the Philadelphia Flyers is not their players, it's their goaltending. That's really bad. And it's, see, it's it, you know it's bad when they keep having to sign a new goalie every year. Hopefully someone will stick. I mean, a few years ago I thought Brzezgalov was going to be perfect for him, but that turned out to be a disaster. So, you know, as much as I love to see... No, I do love to see them fucking squalor. Fuck you, Philly. Um, my number 12 is Tyler Sagan. I love this player. He is so much fun to watch. He is on a bad team, so you don't get to see him play that much. But still, very skilled player. Uh, this year he had 40 goals, 38 assists for 78 points. And we've talked about this before. I hate seeing the more goals than yes. assists thing. He's the only center in the entire league that has more goals than assists. We get mad at that stuff. We say that's selfish, but then again, his coaches probably tell him shoot as much as you yeah. can. Well, I mean, it's just him and Jamie Benz. Yeah, so I mean, it's just the exact same player. Yeah, well, that's well, it, and it's exactly. it just makes me laugh a little bit because it's like, man, seriously, Tyler, yeah. you could have two or three more assists on yeah, that one. Really. Selfish prick, but uh, great player. Uh, sixty-five, oh six, twenty-five plus goal season and six thirty-five plus assists. You know, not bad. He's had a good career. He was on Boston. They had to trade him because they just couldn't afford him. Yep. Dallas has got him for a while now, and he, hope like I said, Dallas. I hope they get back in the playoffs because they do have some great players that can do great, great things. Yeah, players. yeah. So it's just, I just hope that, you know, I just would like to see them in the playoffs. Yeah, I, I agree. Like, with you. Um, my twelve, I got Jamie Ben. You talked about him before. Yeah. Him and Sagan, they go back and forth. I mean, he had thirty-six goals, forty-three assists, seventy-nine yeah. points. I'm pretty sure Sagan had like 78 points, 40 goals, 38 yeah, assists. Yeah, 40 goals, 38 um, assists, yeah. So, I mean, they're literally identical in terms of their stats. They both played well. They play well together. Yeah. Um, I mean. See, the thing with them is that I believe, now I don't watch Dallas Stars hockey that right. much, but I believe that he, I think they're on the same line. They are. And I don't think they should be. No, because I think they're they both should, centers. Yeah, but I just don't think they have enough talent they around. Don't. You know, because Dallas... For the Dallas Stars, and I'm not making fun of them, it's just you only know three players, and most people only know two. And, I mean, and that's, that's the, Jamie Benn and Tyler Sagan. That's the question with Toronto this year. Are they going to put yeah. you know, Matthews and Tavares on the same line? Or we should have a show about that. Are they that. really going to put Matthews on the second line? Just, yeah, we should literally line. have a board here, and it should say all the players, and it's like, figure it like, the fuck to me, out. That's, just, that's disrespectful if they put Tavares on the first line and Matthews on the second. Like, they cannot. Yeah, but Matthews. Matthews is in the center. He is a center. So I see. I, I thought he was. I thought he was a wing. I'm pretty sure he plays center. Because if he's a wing, then they should do Tavares, oh, yeah. Matthews. No, I'm pretty sure he's a center. Well, it's uh, you know, honestly, like I honestly think that we really should do that show before the season starts to legitimately yeah, take. Yeah, he's a center. Yeah, but it's just. <sighs> right. I, guess I don't know. That's tough. I don't know. I mean, it, it's something where yeah, you sign this guy to a seventy plus million dollar contract, but. Austin Matthews is the future. Yes. But then again, they're going to be together for the next seven years. That's scary to think about. But we really should literally put up a board here. We're both GMs and figure it the fuck out. You know. Uh, so your number twelve was. Jamie Ben. Your number eleven is Steven Stamkos, which was very tough to put him there because he's great. Yeah. But Taylor Hall. Yeah. I, I I put Taylor Hall in front of him. I get it. Steven Stamkos has done a lot more longer, but Taylor Hall is, I think, only his fifth season, and the Oilers just didn't like him, even though he was probably, besides Nugent Hopkins, before McDavid, he was probably the only player that was solid for them. Wasn't a bust. You know, Eberle was pretty good, but now I believe he's on the uh, he just had nobody Islanders. Around him. Yeah, and that's that's the problem, is people don't realize that. Well, why did say you can get, why did Taylor Hall get so good? It's because there's a fucking team around him. I mean, Edmonton was trash, like for years. Actually, trash. he's on him now still, like with McDavid and everything. See, I don't know if that would work, but I, I agree yeah. with you about it. Be, but I think the reason why they traded Paul was because of McDavid. Yeah. You know, because they're not the same player, but they play the same position. It's like, well, who do you well, fucking Paul the win? See, I thought there again. I thought Hall was a center. No. You're, you're probably right. So Hall plays right wing. But do you think like, and now that you look back on I know, it, I does play center, but yeah. No, but there you go. That's why I think that it's 
different only because it's McDavid and then Dreisaitl. Yeah. Like, who the else is it going to be? You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, not not saying Steven Stamkos is a bad player, but 86 points this year, eight seasons with 25 plus goals, seven seasons with 25 plus assists. That bugged me. He has a 10, or no, no, I'm sorry. Uh, that doesn't bug me then because they're both 25. I thought it was 35 and 25. I was like, dude, there's a 10 point difference in goals, you know, but still, Stephen Kim, Stam Ghost is great. He's he's in the peak of the top 10 in my eyes. I'm I am right at 10, so I, I had to put him up one more spot. Oh, is that what you did right at 10? Uh, yeah. My 11, I got Tyler Sagan. Yeah. Um, so I went back to back stars on this one. Well, that's how they had him on the list, too, yeah. but it was something that was like 13, like, 14. Yeah, 13, yeah. 14. And um, so, I'm sorry, but you had Taylor Hall where again? I had him at like 18. Okay, all right. That's what I was just, that's the difference, yeah. is that I've got him, yeah, he's going to be in the top 10 for yeah. me. Um, but yeah, I mean, Sagan, we talked about it before, 40 goals, 38 assists. We wish he had more assists than goals, but yeah. it's what he is. Um, he's I mean, a goal he's a scorer. Player. He's a goal scorer. If he got those two assists, it would have been five straight 40-plus assist seasons. True. I mean, he's he's just a uh, he's a very consistent player. Uh, over the last five years, eighty-four points, seventy-seven points, seventy-three, seventy-two, seventy-eight. Yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's he's always going to be right around the same player. He's not going to get you hundred points, but he's going to get you. He might. He, he, he might. He could. Um, but but I there's don't think only so just, much ice. I just don't think he will because he doesn't pass enough. Uh, you know what? The guys that get 100 points are the guys that get 50 to 60 assists. That's right. You know, you don't see somebody putting up 60 goals or like 70 goals and 30 assists because yeah. it just doesn't. Well, they would. That just wouldn't. Yeah. Happen. Right. Um, so yeah, that's 20 to 11. It looks like it seems like our top 10 is going to be very different. Um, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And it's but that's good. That's the part of the list. It's sure, fun. Our top 10 going to be very insane. Actually. What's that? Our top 10 is going to be like identical except for two players. Well, you no, know, I don't. Well, maybe, but then again, I mean, because Taylor Hall's going to be in mind, yeah. so you know. But um, yeah, so that's number twenty to eleven, and we've got next week is ten to one, ten to one. That's it. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. Um, anything else you want to add? Puck schmucks out. Puck schmucks out. Fantasy Bros, link in the description, BB Sports 15, get 15% off, like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment below on what you think, follow us on Instagram at Bigger and Bradder Sports, one word. You can also follow us on Twitter. I am at Big Tuna BBS. Bradder is at Defense 12. Brad and Corey is two E's. Punch out.